So here we've got an iteration question. Um, this formula looks very complicated, but it's actually not. Um, all this means is the next term is the square root of 7 times the previous term plus 4. So x1 just means the first term, and we're told that's 7. Um, so if I want to work out x2, it's the square root of 7 times x1 plus 4. If I want to work out x3, it's the square root of 7 times x2 plus 4. x4, square root of 7 times x3 plus 4. So we just follow the same pattern every time, and we can keep going 7 times x4 plus 4. Um, so we're told the first term is 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our calculator. And the easiest thing to do is to get 7 as the answer. So press 7 and then press equals and get 7 down there. So 7 becomes the what's in the A and S button. Um, and we're going to use that. So we're going to write out this um, square root of 7 times this, which is now our answer, plus 4, plus 4. So we've copied this formula out, and we've got 7, we've put it into the answer, so 7 is there, and if we press equals, we've got square root 53, or if we press SD, 7.28010989. X, if I want to work at X3, all I've got to do is press equals again. And then if I want to work at X4, just press equals again, and so on. So X5, X6, X7, X8, X9, X10. So the calculator is actually doing the work for us. Um, so all we've got to be able to do is put the formula into the box and work it and let the calculator do the rest. Okay, here's another iteration question. So we're told x1, the first term, the first one is 0. So if we want to work out x2, it's 5 over x1 minus 3. x3, 5 over x2 minus 3. So all we've got to do is grab our calculator and set this up in our calculator. So grab the calculator. Um, then we've got to write this out. So first thing we have to do, press the fraction button. On top we've got 5, and then on the bottom we've got this number. Actually, what we want to do, we want to get 0 into the answer button. And then when we set this up, 5 on top, then we just put answer into there, and that's 0 at the moment, minus 3. So this is set up now. So if I press equals, I'm going to get x2. So minus 5 over 3. Um, we could have decimal um, if we need to. And then that's x1. And then well, that's, that's x2, sorry. x1 is 0. That's x2. Then I press equals again. That's x3. Equals again, x4. And again, x5 x6, x7, x8, x9, and so on. So what you, what's going to happen here is we're going to get closer and closer to a solution for x. So this is a method of solving an equation. So if I keep on pressing equals, you'll see that these numbers at the front aren't changing anymore. Um, and eventually, it's going to stop. Um, so we can work out a solution, um, we can solve, and that one of the answers for x is minus 1.19258204, um, and that's done it to nine decimal places. So if we're asked for an answer to five decimal places, um, it would be minus 1.19258204. So for using this, just using the calculator, we could answer any question really on iteration. Okay, here's another one. Um, try and give this one a go. Try and do this one yourself. Um, 
try and work out x1, which we already know, x2, x3, x4, x2, x3, x4, and x5. So see if you can work out all of those using this iteration. So you want to get 5 into the answer button in the calculator. Um, so you want to press 5 equals 5 into the answer button. And then we're going to set up in the same way before, square root of this times 3 times the answer, which we've got as 5 now, plus 11. So if I press equals, that gives me x2. So that's x2. So we could write that down as our answer. Um, took my pens out of ink. So um, that's x2 x3, x4, and that's x5.